You're looking at a high school LeBron James, probably around age 16 or 17, and a 40 year old Michael Jordan. This picture has been blowing up Twitter and has generated many interesting responses. And while all the sources aren't verified, I've done extensive research to confidently present you with the story. There's no video footage of this scrimmage online yet, and the question I want to investigate is what really happened here? This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and while I originally planned to upload a different video to begin my mission of bringing y'all quality content during the NBA hiatus, that video will be released after this one because I had to present this story to y'all as soon as I could. There's much speculation surrounding this image, where it was taken, if LeBron and Jordan are on the same team, why there's no video that accompanies it, and the story behind it. The best thread of info we have right now is on Twitter, and some are speculating that LeBron gave MJ the business, hence the reason why there's no tape. But again, that's speculation, not fact. It's important to match time periods as best as we can with what we're given. Maverick Carter told Chris Broussard in 2017 that the first time LeBron met Michael Jordan was when James was 16, going into his junior year of high school. Jordan pulled up in a red Ferrari outside of Hoops the Gym in Chicago and started walking toward Carter and James. And both of them said it was like black Jesus coming down the street in a red Ferrari. I think it was my junior year of high school. I go up to Chicago and I go to a gym called Hoops where he, he plays basketball in the summertime. Uh, and I didn't know he was gonna be there. Uh, but I seen, him, I seen him walking towards me and it was kind of like he was walking on air. He, I, I was. I had to I had to pinch myself. Was, was is that my, Michael? Who? And it was it's like he was like Black Jesus to me. Like. <laughs> Hoops the Gym in Chicago was a popular spot for pickup games between NBA players in the early 2000s. Carter described it as basketball heaven. This little building with two courts in it, a weight room that wasn't huge but had all the technology advances for weightlifting. LeBron and Carter found out about it at an AAU tournament in Chicago where they met Greg Ryan, who worked for Michael Jordan's trainer, Tim Grover. They were invited to the gym where Grover talked to LeBron about the importance of lifting, considering at the time, 16 year old James hadn't really lifted in his life. LeBron and Carter would return to the gym where James would eventually get to play in pickup games against the likes of Paul Pierce, Jerry Stackhouse, Antoine Walker, and Ron Artest. And this is where it gets interesting people because Artest, now Meta World Peace, shared this on the Knuckleheads podcast back in September of 2019. Maverick brought him. Maverick brought him, really? Maverick, 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 was, with him that? Maverick yeah. was, his, was, was a little older than him, but he hadn't wow. went to college yet. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was Twan there. Twan brought him out there. That's I, why I he was there. I gave him a forearm on fast break. He was coming. He was cooking. He was cooking. He couldn't, he couldn't, nobody can guard him. LeBron James. Oh. He couldn't guard him. I'm like, I'm getting in battle. He's in battle. Listen to us. <laughs> so he's coming out full speed. LeBron James. I, boom. I lay him on the floor. He get up and start cooking more. He's just tough. <laughs> He's about, he was about 225 at that time. Mm. But I remember him just being tough. This story seems to line up with the timeline provided by Maverick Carter, but makes it seem like LeBron dominated all the pros on the court. According to Carter, this was not the case. He got a couple buckets, went up and down. He wasn't at all ready to defend. If Stackhouse caught it, he'd take him to the hole. He wasn't at all ready to defend. But on offense, you know, if you can pass, you can play. And he could pass and had the size and ability to get into the paint and he got a couple buckets. Still, the one player missing from these pickup games was, yep, Michael Jordan. There's no account of a 16 year old LeBron playing against Jordan at Hoops the Gym, just the account of LeBron meeting MJ for the first time there. So where does this leave us with this photo? It obviously occurred after LeBron met MJ for the first time, placing James around 16 to 17 years old and was most likely shot at MJ's camp. I believe the best source we currently have on this comes from a few Twitter users. First is the threat of two eyewitness accounts to the LeBron Jordan scrimmage at MJ's camp. Sequel Smith said the scrimmage wasn't too eventful to be honest. They weren't really guarding each other. Braun did his thing against other NBA and top college players though. I remember him hitting a deep corner fadeaway three pointer and some dope dunks. Another user Dylan Collins FOE spoke differently saying I was there. It was at the MJ camp. LeBron was like 16 or 17 and dominated all the NBA players with huge dunks. It was dope. And by the looks of his bio, this is a fan of Steph Curry and the Warriors. And generally, Warrior fans don't praise LeBron because of all the finals matchups. So why would a guy like this lie about LeBron's performance, especially considering that he said LeBron dominated? This user also posted a picture of himself with Jay Williams, who was his coach at the camp. And evidently, you know, he's a young kid. And this is something that he acknowledged 
in a reply. To conclude, do I think a high school LeBron embarrassed Jordan at his own camp so much so that this led to tapes being destroyed? Based on my research, no. But one thing is accurate, that if these tapes got released, they would blow up YouTube. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who would you pick, high school LeBron or near 40 year old MJ? Leave a thumbs up on this video and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.